Julie, Julie, where are you? Well, there's a reason Julie is not at a job like this. And it's because we are, let's see, a one, two, three stories up. She's not too keen on the possibility of falling to her injury. So you see how on this roof, there's this little spot that seems to be devoid of that moldy mildew stuff, right? That's because this spot is always warm. So whenever the dew rests on the roof, this is the only spot where it's too warm and it evaporates so that mildew can't grow. You know why? Because there's a big old beehive in there and we're gonna get it out. I've already paint marked it. You can see those white lines. Uh, that's just to give me a good reference. But uh, this was way, 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 way more active when I checked it out a couple weeks ago. And so they definitely split, but there's still gonna be a ton of bees and comb in here. So let's get set up. They are mad at me. Can't imagine why. Look at this thing. It's so big. Oh my gosh. It's huge. How am I gonna find the queen in this thing? Okay, I am uh, a little ways in. Got those boards cleaned off. Bees are just kind of scattered. It's so windy, they're just trying to hunker down. But I am still just overwhelmed by what I'm seeing here. I'm just dreading this day because there's so much work to do. Oh my goodness. Still haven't found the queen, but that's not a surprise. Okay, let's keep going. This is the biggest egg I've ever seen a queen bee lay. What the heck? That looks like it's about the size of an owl egg. So maybe owls used to live in here. It's possible. I don't know if we need to blur this out, but here is what most likely laid that egg. I don't know exactly what happened, but I suspect foul play. Now we might have to blur this out, but this is the egg that was a uh, youngling. And this was mama bird. Really sad, but I guess that's nature. Still, sucks. This is not helpful. Oh gosh. Very, very windy, especially for San Diego. And uh, it's making things kind of hectic. Oh my gosh. Okay, honeycomb cleaned out. And the rat's nest, the bird's nest that was in there. But it's still really windy. And we still just got collections of bees we need to gather. Not even done. This job is the job from hell. And I still haven't found the queen. Oh my gosh. I have been on this roof since 7.30 this morning. And the bees are in the box. I think the queen actually might have gone in there. I haven't checked yet. But I've been up here 11 hours. And I uh, didn't expect that. So, but the roof is all put back together. And I'm tired. Super tired. Okay, as you can tell, the sun set like five minutes ago and we got the bees and oh my gosh was that rough or what I just got done so I've been here for almost 12 hours I got here at 730 
took a 10 minute lunch break and uh, haven't gone anywhere else since. So this one was rough, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. I think it's about anywhere from like 120 to 140 pounds of honey and comb, sorry. Um, so that was nuts. Anyway, at least it was a nice sunset.